If you're sick of spending time scrolling through Canva elements only to find nothing that fits your project, then sit tight because I'm about to show you something that will completely change the way you design in Canva. And we're starting right now. For this example, I have a client flyer that I'm currently working on and I want to add an angle element to the top left, but I can't seem to find anything that works inside Canva elements. Or if I do, it's blocked with the Canva Pro icon, which can be super frustrating as you most likely spent a good amount of time looking for something that fits your project. So instead of wasting time endlessly scrolling, I'm going to design more effectively and utilize another tool. And that tool is called Figma. Now you might be asking yourself, what in the world is Figma? Well, Figma is a collaborative web application for interface design like websites and apps. Now, for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into the bells and whistles of Figma, but feel free to explore it and see how you like it for yourself. With that said, head on over to figma.com and create a completely free account. Once you're all signed up, click on new design file. Then come to the top toolbar and select frame. All you have to do is simply click and drag. With your frame added, now you can create your custom element. This tool will be creating your custom shape with points. In this case, I just need a simple diagonal shape that will hold my logo and some copy. Then I'll create the shape by clicking and creating points. Once I have it where I'm happy, I'll then switch it from outline to solid. In order to do that, just come to the shape you just created and come over to the toolbar and click on this minus button under stroke. Then just come to the fill and hit the plus icon. You can fill it with any color you'd like for now, as you can always change it later in Canva. I'm going to keep it the default, but if you want to change the color, just click on the color box and from there, you can select a color that makes you happy. With the color now selected, you're ready to export this for Canva. To do that, make sure you select the element and just come over to the export and select File, Format, SVG. Now head to your Canva project and upload that custom shape you just made by going to the toolbar and selecting File Upload. Locate the element on your device and upload to your library. Once uploaded, the element will show up in your library and all that's left to do is add it to your project. Simply select it and it will pop up in your canvas. Now I'll adjust it and move it into place by clicking and holding one of the four handles and then I'll drag it till I'm happy with the size. I'll then change the color to a custom color I have for this project, but feel free to go crazy. The cool thing about uploading an SVG into Canva is the ability to change the color to anything you'd like and also scaling up the element without it losing any quality. With that all set, I'll just add in the company logo and some copy to complete this client design. Now keep in mind, this example was just a simple shape, so don't be scared to be more creative. Figma can produce great vector elements like custom icons, illustrations, and multicolor gradients. You just need to spend a little bit of time letting your creativity flow. So start spending more time designing and less time scrolling through the endless pit that is Canva elements. Hi, Richard here. Thank you so much for watching Under Budget Marketing Design. If you like this video, maybe you'll like this one where I teach you how to convert your logo into a vector for free. Well, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video.